Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was uh, two earthquakes near the South Sandwich Islands. The first shaker was a magnitude 6.3, 10 kilometers in depth, followed by a magnitude 5.2, also 10 kilometers in depth. Both of these earthquakes occurred relatively close to a transform boundary. That's where we got two tectonic plates moving past each other. Where in this case, we got the subduction. It's a back arc, arch subduction of um, the African plate moving underneath the South Sandwich Island plate. And it looks like both of these earthquakes are pretty darn close to the transform fault. You can use Google Earth and look up a transform fault in geology and oceanology, a type of fault which two tectonic plates slide past one another. Now this is important because it pertains to what's going on here. A transform fault may be in the portion of a fracture zone that exists between different offset spreading centers or that connects spreading centers to deep sea trenches in subduction zones. We have what's called a back arch subduction zone. And this here is the South Sandwich microplate. On Wikipedia, they have a real good picture as an example, a cartoon of what's going on. We got the subduction of the African plate going underneath the microplate of the Sandwich Islands. And then we got the little volcanoes that are coming up. See that? And then we got spreading over here to the left. So going back to Google Earth, here we have the South Sandwich microplates. And we got all these little tiny islands that have come up. And then off to the left, we have spreading centers. See that there? I kind of tried to draw it out for you in red. Using Google Earth, I'll bring it out a little bit farther so you can see this location. I have covered it in the past. Uh, down south, we have the Arctic Plate. Up here, we got South America. We have other spreading centers through here. And we got Drake's Passage, and we got all kinds of tiny little micro plates here, or a few little micro plates through here. There is a threat, and they are worried. Um, that great earthquakes can occur in this location and cause tsunamis. Back in 1929, there was a magnitude 8.1 earthquake that caused uh, a tsunami. It wrapped around uh, to South America, and it was all the way down to the Arctic. And you think about all the research stations down in the Arctic, how close they are to shore. Yeah, the threat to tsunami, though, not to a lot of people, but it still would be a great threat to people in that location. This here is called the Scotia Plate. And we have a lot of um, trenches or fault zones, depending on what scientists you want to talk about. The Scotia Plate formed, and it's basically all underneath the sea, about one kilometer under the sea. Um, it opened up formed when Drake's Passage formed, separating South America from Antarctica. In both its boundaries, the South American boundary and the Antarctic boundary, are strike-slip uh, fault zones. This area is one of the fastest moving boundaries, uh, faster than the Cascadia subduction zone, and is moving about seven to nine millimeters a year. The Eastern Scotia Ridge is moving at 70 millimeters a year. So that would work out to be about 28 inches a year. And that would be an area right along here where they have spreading. The area they call the Shackleton Fracture Zone. That's kind of off over here. And that's moving at about 7.5 to 9 centimeters a year. Yeah, a big difference compared to the eastern area. And it extends up to the area 
that they call Drake's Bay. Looking at the moment tensor ball, the initial first wave of the earthquake came from straight up and tension was applied uh, going north, slightly northwest. And you can see here how the, the fault zone uh, dropped. More than likely one side of the fault zone rose up and the other one dropped down. Which would make sense for this transform fault and the back arc subduction that we have going on in this area. Yeah, I wonder how many of the scientists there in the uh, Antarctic actually go through a tsunami warning uh, drill um, just in case they do have a large earthquake and tsunami in this area. Like I said, back in 1929, there was one. Um, they figure it was right there in that location on the uh, northern side of this plate and the uh, south sandwich microplate. You know, because it's moving faster than the Cascadia subduction zone, yeah, they do have large earthquakes. 2016, uh, 7.2. Let's see what else we got here. Um, let's see, 2013, a 7.3, a 6.4 in 2014, a 7.8, um, and a 6.9 in 2013 by uh, the Falkland Islands. In 2013, there was a magnitude 7.0. Anyways, that's all I have you, for you about that. Hope you found it interesting. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.